pictures on my phone I won't spend another night at home Okay, I'ma just be on my way And we just arrived in Washington, D.C. I have never been to D.C. before, so I'm super, super excited to be here for my solo trip for my birthday. We are staying at the Watergate Hotel. Y'all, the, the window in here is insane. It's the lighting for me, the content. Okay. Anyway, it is around 11 a.m. Um, I just got to the hotel yesterday for my actual birthday. If you guys watched last week's vlog, I started my birthday, brought it in at midnight with Whit, Jaria, Simone, and Leah. That was fun. And then we went to St. Louis. I hung out with family and stuff all day. And then I went out with my girlfriends, which is what y'all saw at the top of the vlog. That was last night on my birthday. So we just got here. I'm so happy they let me check in, y'all. I have barely slept. Like, barely slept. So I'm really tired. <laughs> but no. I'm about to go shopping. Well, I'm gonna shower and do my makeup and stuff first. I'm gonna do like an everyday makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup again later on, but I'm gonna do my makeup. Uh, we're gonna go shopping in Georgetown. And then I also want to do a little sightseeing before I get ready to go out tonight. So I made reservations to go to Park at 14th with Janae, cause Janae lives here, but she just called me and she's sick. But we still gonna see her. We gonna go over and um, see her house and hang out with her for a second. And then I'll probably still do Park at 14th tonight and then find like a cute little rooftop or something to go to. So yeah, very, very excited to do my solo thing tonight. Let's go. I gotta find out where all the black people with tonight. We gonna see, I got a whole list, a whole list of spots. Actually, I'm gonna put it up right here so y'all can see the list, okay? Um, I have a whole itinerary as well, which I'll put here. And then I've kind of been like putting my reservations and everything that I got going on this weekend. So I'm about to settle in a little bit. I'm gonna take a shower and do everything I said I was about to do. Um, I'm going to get back with y'all when we head out to go sightseeing and shopping in a little bit. I'm really happy. I also gotta charge y'all because the camera's about to die. I don't wanna be crazy no more Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with, can you just reassure me? I've lived it before 
shower, did my makeup and everything. This is what we're about to wear. It's about 65 degrees outside. I need to look and see if it's gonna get any hotter than that. Okay, it doesn't get up to like 70 till later. So I might grab my blazer just to throw like over the shoulders. But I'm deciding if I'm about to walk. I might just walk to Georgetown. It's a 15 minute walk. Um, Cause I just wanna go shopping and look around there, see what they have. And it's only 15 minutes. So I feel like why not just go do some sightseeing. Yeah, this is outfit. Top is Aritzia. Jeans are H&M. Coach bag, black sambas. Yeah. Let me show y'all the makeup up close. I didn't do like, a, that's a lie. I did do a full face, but it's more of a chill full face. I put on like my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin, cut some concealer, patted it down with some powder, a little bronzer, a little highlighter, you know. For me, this is giving every day, let's go shop and get a mimosa, you know? I'm so happy right now, I'm so happy. So with Janae being sick, um, I'm gonna do less party outfit more grown and sexy which is why we're going shopping because i was gonna wear the pink dress this one right here but i feel like it gives oh i'm going to tea around town tomorrow i'm gonna wear this to tea around town period done so i'm gonna wear this to tea around town tomorrow instead of tonight because i was like i wanted to wear this for my birthday i wore it for the pictures but i wanted to wear it wear it tea around town perfect because this is the original outfit i had for tea around town but this is better. <laughs> so tonight, my backup outfit is this pink dress from Zara. You guys have seen this before, but I wanted to get something new. You know what I'm saying? So if I can't find anything, this is what we're wearing tonight. But hopefully we can find something grown and sexy to wear. So let's go shopping. Cause I got you like you got me and I'm with it If you with it, commit it, commit it, commit it So please don't be scared So please don't be scared So then I went to this place called Curated by Cecilia So many people told me to come to this very cute boutique if I was looking for like a birthday type dress and it did not disappoint they had so many different options some of them were not me some were so let's do a try on haul this one <laughs> girl came with a bang with the first one loved love love this dress down I think it made my body look great and it was cute with the short hair the next dress not crazy about it I didn't like the bigger shoulder pads and it just wasn't screaming birthday you know after that I tried on this pink dress which was cute in theory but no also it was a little too tight for my butt so this one was also an easy pass so there was another pink dress on the rack I didn't really know what was going on with this one but once I put it on I was like yeah absolutely not the next one was so cute didn't scream birthday but this leather at the bottom of this dress girl I'm dying loved it but not for tonight and then the next one I tried on this bustier these are my jeans but this was such a cute little corset but you know just tried that one for fun we did end up getting a dress for the night so it's a little bit later we are back in the hotel room i just ordered me some room service i'm about to knock this out i just got me a cob salad because i'm starving i just want to eat something and then i also got a lemonade i'm just super crazy hungry so think I'm gonna keep my dinner reservation where I have it at. So I was thinking about changing it since Janae's not coming out tonight. Since it's just me, I feel like I can go anywhere and sit at a bar, you know? But I wanted like a sit down type situation for my birthday for today. But I'm about to eat this food. I need to call somebody because my TV is not working. So I need to handle that. And then um, I am gonna redo the makeup. <laughs> Cause I want it to be like fly. Not much going on here. I'll see y'all in a minute when we do makeup cause I'm still charging on my stuff. Hey y'all. So we are about to get ready for the night. I was supposed to go see Janae. I was supposed to go see Janae before I went out tonight, but Maya did not time her evening too good. <laughs> and in order for me to film a little bit, take my time, you know, go take some pictures downstairs and everything, it's going, it's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna see my girl tomorrow. So obviously I took the other makeup off because I want to really beat the face a down girl, down. I'm using this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face to Face because I feel like my face needs some serious like moisture. 
right now. I am so happy that I stayed down here at the Watergate because I have a river view in river view. I have a river view out my window and I love that so much for me. And there's a path literally three minutes out the door. My goal is to get up and do some walking. Um, not necessarily for, I mean, of course I wanna walk, but I really want to do it just to sightsee and just, you know, move around, get my body moving a little bit for the day tomorrow. So we'll see if we do that or not, but so we gonna find out. So I'm using this Patrick's Ta Foundation. This and the Nessa Myricks Yummy Skin are the only like skin product I brought as far as like foundation is concerned. So that should let you know that these are my favorites right now. It is really good and it's luminous. So I'm excited for my skin to be like nice and luminous tonight. For the plan for the evening is we are going to get ready. And then we're gonna go downstairs and find a really cute spot to take some photos in the hotel. I'm gonna be doing that on my phone with my remote for my phone. You know, it works out. We gotta find some good lighting. I'm gonna take this light with me. After that, we have dinner reservations at Park at 14th. We are going to go and have dinner solo dello. I made reservations at this place called 12 Stories. They have like, you know, black people <laughs> and like vibes. I think they're having like an R&B type of night tonight. So, so yeah, that is what we are going to be doing tonight. We will not be taking the camera <laughs> because yeah, it just gives away, y'all know this, it commands too much attention and I'm in a new city and you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm, we're not gonna be doing that. But I will be vlogging on my phone tonight. So I'll make sure I get footage and we'll get a cute little montage going for the night. Anyway, y'all, I'm really, really happy to be here <laughs> by myself. I, for one, live. I live for this. I do, I live for solo trips and vibes. I've already had multiple people ask me, you know, why I was here and stuff and I'll say for my birthday and they'd be like, oh my goodness, so you're here with friends? First of all, you gotta be careful who you tell that you're alone so that wasn't a thing but it's just crazy that people still have that stigma that you just cannot be by yourself there's no way like and if you are what's wrong with you <laughs> baby there's nothing wrong with me i love it it's low-key one of the best ways to travel if you ask me and the reason being is because when you're alone you don't have to worry about you know what other people want to do <laughs> i just want to do what i want to do that's all i want this to be about me i don't want to be on anybody else's timeline having to compromise on what someone else would prefer to do and i'm used to my own company so i'm gonna have a good time regardless so tonight when i go out dinner obviously is a little bit more secluded if you're not at the bar but if you want to do dinner by yourself you know but still like keep yourself open for socializing then the bar is the place to be. I'm deciding if I want to do like a red lip tonight. I don't know. That's gonna really stand out with the dress. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if it's the hair. <laughs> when I was out the other night at Space Man Rooftop, I don't know if it's the hair, but the men were a, actually a little out of control. Like the girls were saying it all night too. It was like, I don't know what's going on Maya, another one. <laughs> They were everywhere trying to get me, chap. These men cannot be trying to trap me, sir. It's gonna be a no for me. Y'all, I love this Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Cheek Tint. So I say that to say, if it is the hair, I might be in for a night. The other night, it was so many different guys trying to talk to me. And it was like, I had to figure out like, what am I about to tell each one that I'm not interested in? You know what I'm saying? Like it's so many and they like are literally in a line coming back to back. Girl, these men love them a little pixie cut, okay? Cause I get approached, I get approached, but not like that. Like that was insane. It was crazy. It was literally crazy. But yeah, I feel like when you're out by yourself, it's really important to make sure that you are looking appro looking approachable if that is something you want is to like, you know, have conversations and either meet new friends, like girlfriends or meet guys, you know? And I feel like you can't have on the resting bee face. 
<laughs> or be in your phone the whole time. So I feel like that's another thing too. I try to be intentional about when I'm like out and my intention is to be social. Being on my phone constantly, just face in the phone, can really like deter people from speaking to you. But then it's like, okay, well, what should you be doing then? Sometimes I'll have an AirPod in, you know, if it's not like a loud place, you know, I'll have an AirPod in and just be looking around, people watching, drinking my drink. Or, you know, if you're somewhere where you could be doing something else like reading or anything, I feel like reading is even more approachable than just staring at your phone constantly, you know? But I try to be intentional about that. And I plan on looking approachable tonight so that I can, you know, mix and mingle. I've gone to like, lounges or like chill spots like that by myself before but it's not something that i do often so i say that to say i'm a little nervous about how it's going to look not to other people but how it's going to look for me just as far as how i'm going to spend my time there by myself oh this does have a light on it maya but yeah we'll see what that looks like for me i'm not completely sure it's, regardless it's gonna be it's gonna be fine I know it's expensive, but if you have not tried this foundation, baby, you are missing out, my friend. You are missing out. It is so good. It is so good. Oh, baby, this makeup is gonna be flawless. It's already getting like super buttery right now. So we can have this discussion in the comments. Word on the street is DC got them men's. You know what I'm saying? So I'm interested in seeing what that looks like too. And I mean like fine men. <laughs> oh, but we don't see child, we don't see. But I'm literally giving myself the ick just talking about this. I am so uninterested. Ugh. Open but uninterested child. If that could be a thing. I love this powder. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. This is Kanufa that I'm using to set my concealed areas. Maybe the skin just be so buttery with this. Like, I think I might do a little bit of eyeshadow tonight, y'all. I'm gonna do some of this skin tone powder over the entire face real quick. I saw some really cute spots downstairs to take pictures, y'all. Oh, I'm excited. Very, very excited and ready for people to be staring because that's a thing. Y'all, they had the cutest dresses at that place. I'm sure I montaged it out so you guys can see everything that I tried on. But there was like two to three dresses that I didn't even show y'all because I couldn't get them on. <laughs> they were clearly not made for the bootay. So we did our best. <laughs> I usually will set my eyes with the um, more skin tone powder instead of a lighter powder. You know, it helps to like neutralize it. Uh, I think it looks weird when you set it with like the lighter powder, even if you're about to go in with like some eyeshadow, you know? I like pressing in the darker powder. Yeah. Before I keep going, let's do some Fix Plus because I don't know. I low key want to just keep the eyes bare with just concealer. That could be a vibe too, but I'm going go in with some bronzer to kind of set where the other bronzer was. With my short hair, I've just been doing like right here to define the cheekbones and like right here going into the hairline since our forehead is now covered by hell. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the cinnamon bun powder for the sculpted look. Girl, yeah, the face got to eat, especially since this dress is like up to the neck, you know? We're gonna do the NARS blush. This is the only powder blush that I brought with me, but it's relatively close to the cream blush. I really hope that this solo trip for my birthday would inspire some of you guys to do things by yourself. Cause though I talk about being by yourself and you know, spending time with yourself a lot and how important that is, there's still so many of you guys and just women in general who just do not see why this is something that you should be doing. Like, especially, I get a lot of people who are married that feel as though solo dating, solo tripping, all of the solo stuff is just for single women. But that's not the case. It's not about being single, it's about getting to know yourself and being okay with you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like anyone in any situation, relationship, whatever, or lack thereof, whatever, 
should have a good relationship with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're in a relationship. Because when you don't know yourself and you're not cool with just you, you're more likely than not to stay in situations that don't serve you because you just don't want to be by yourself. I've heard countless women just be like, well, I don't want to be alone, so I called him. Or I don't want to be alone, so, you know, I just put up with it. You know, at least I got a man or at least I'm not alone. And I feel as though when we know ourselves and are more comfortable with ourselves, we do that a whole lot less. Or at least that's not the reason we would stay in something that doesn't serve us, you know? And it's not even just about that when it comes to friends, when it comes to family. For me, in my opinion, women should not always feel as though I need someone there to have a good time. I need someone there to validate me. I need someone there. I need someone there. I need someone there. And I just feel like, you know, you don't. You just need yourself. It's the most important relationship you'll ever have after the one you have with the Lord is with yourself. Because at the end of the day, who's there? You. At the end of your life, who's there? You. Who's there when you're going through it, when you're happy, when you're sad, when you're frustrated? It's you. So that's the most important relationship that you have. And I will die on this hill. Do the solo things, even if you're married. Actually, especially <laughs> if you're married or in a relationship. I'm deciding on the eyes. I definitely know I want to go in with bronzer. When I go in with like a brown eyeshadow, like in my creases, it looks off because I have bronzer all over my face. When you have the bronzer, it kind of helps to tie in the whole look. I did bring the Makeup by Mario palette. So I'm going to go into like one of these lighter shades like this one on the lid. And just do like a little matte ombre situation. Something very neutral, classy and classic. I didn't want to do like a shimmer eyeshadow or anything like that. This is similar to the look that I did for my photo shoot. I hope this looks good. I mean, the lighting is good, but it's also like not good. Does that make sense? I am going to hit it with a little bit of some liner. Uh, we're gonna keep it brown so I can keep it nice and soft. I feel like this look is definitely giving Maya signature. And I'm cool with it. I think we're about done. I don't think I wanna do like a whole bunch of highlighter on the blush, you know? I'm gonna push it in with my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna hit it with some mascara, which is my favorite one right now, which is from Fenty Beauty. And let's do a lip. For now, I'm just gonna do a liner with lip bar. This one is Hampton U. This is their HBCU collection. And girl, this is so pretty. This is like a mauve pink color. So my camera cut out while I was trying to finish. It's fine, it got too hot. Something's been going on with my charger because while I was in Aritzia earlier, I was actually going to film the outfits I tried on, but my whole camera was just a black screen. I don't know what was going on. Google said I could just take out my battery for a few minutes and then put it back in and that worked, but it was weird. Anyway, so it's acting, it's acting up. And I needed to not be doing it while I'm on my trip. I just got here. See, told you it was acting up. I can't do it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we're about to get dressed. I am about to film my little get ready with me on my phone. But y'all, um, this was my absolute favorite dress that I found at Curated by Cecilia. This dress, baby, she the vibe. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do about the breasts though. But for now, we just gonna let them sit up. So I'm gonna throw this on real quick. We'll do accessories and all of the things. Also, <laughs> We definitely dipped into the mini bar. <laughs> this is uh, on the rocks and margarita. I went and got some ice and everything because it's my birthday. Why wouldn't I drink from the mini bar? $25 margarita, sign me up. Okay, we got the dress on, but I was deciding what to do about my breasts. I think I am gonna go ahead and use these. Pretty much what you do is you just put them on like that and it kind of list you up. So I'm gonna see how this looks with this. Um, I know I need to wear these tomorrow too, and I think they're reusable. So let me do that real quick. Then we'll be back and we'll see if we got a better situation here. So I'm about to lotion and oil up real good because we're about to go take some pictures. I'm using my Keys So Care Body Oil to glisten up these legs so that we're nice and shiny for the night. <laughs> I need to make my feet top priority though because the way my Steve Madden's be cutting my toes, y'all. We don't need no ashiness by the toe. Okay, I'm wearing my um, Muggler 
alien goddess perfume tonight. I gotta do like a soft mist because I feel like with this material that it'll really like seep into it. So yeah, I can already see it. I gotta be careful. I really hope this tape on my breast don't get on my nerve. Ah! <sighs> Y'all, that new glue that I use on my nails, she is not the one. <laughs> my nails are popping off like crazy today. Literally, I've lost like four nails. So when I got my nails done for my birthday, Ur. DIY for 35. So the restaurant is literally only like 13 minutes away. I'm deciding between these two earrings. These are like my favorite earrings right now. It's either these or these, you know? I don't know. I'm about to make a decision and then we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna take some pictures and I'll put my nail back on and yeah. <laughs> tell y'all about last night i don't know if i want to do this pink pink this is a faux filler lip gloss from huda beauty and sugar baby i need something for my head but i am ready to go to the event i told y'all we're going to to meet ebony um she's in town she was here for something and she's got a flight this afternoon but we booked this so that we can do it it's so cute it's called tea around town so y'all i think it's the short hair Girl, last night, I was drowning. Drowning in men. It was insane. I am glad I have boundaries and standards and what I like and don't like. And I got no problem telling a man no. Because, baby, let's just say right now, if I had no boundaries and I had no standards and I just did whatever went with the flow, baby, I should be on a plane right now with some man. It's private jet. That's what was happening last night. I had to say no. Because what is... What is going on? So somebody, I think I put it on the screen, but um, when I first got there, the guy that checks people in, he got me a couple shots. And then the table next to me, it was a man and his uh, friend. And they brought me bottle service, which was like, you know, just some champagne and the lights and all the things. Y'all saw that. He bought that. And then like, literally, I'm sitting by myself. So throughout the night, different men came to sit down at my table to try to talk to me and then I walked around afterwards and it, it, girl it was crazy I had a good time I, that I'm not complaining and say I didn't have a good time it was just like overwhelming like I'm used to getting holiday but I think it's the hair and I asked one guy that he would end up being real cool we were walking around together and I asked myself from a male perspective can you tell me what's going on because it's a lot right I'm not gonna say everything that he said but he pretty much said it was the hair. Oh. And he said it was giving different than what they're usually, like, used to seeing. I don't know, child, but it was crazy. Anyway, we're about to head out. I'm happy I was able to turn on the camera and give y'all a little update. Um, 
but now we're about to leave i'm gonna see if i can find some tylenol real quick i'm gonna call my uber and we're gonna go to tea around town i'm excited i'm wearing um what's the bag i'm wearing yeah i'm wearing this bag which is from zara um y'all know the dress is from fashion nova and then i'm wearing these shoes so i'm keeping it light so yeah let me grab you guys put y'all on the smallest tripod and let's go have some fun and eat <laughs> Damaged. One man's trash is another man's baggage. Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere. Space suit on, can't breathe this air. TNT going off in here. Ain't we up there? Cause you always wanna touch me. My phones will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm always leaving. Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always Hey y'all, so it's a little bit later, not that much later, literally like 30 minutes. I went back to the hotel, I changed my clothes, got more comfortable, and now we are going to the Lincoln Memorial. I have always wanted to go to the Lincoln Memorial. I have a 2.30 entrance into the African American Museum. Really, really want to do that too, so. I'm just gonna enjoy this real quick. Take my own pictures. I brought my tripod so I can take my own pictures. There's a lot of people here, so they can take pictures, but I kinda wanna do it myself. So yeah, I've always wanted to come to the Lincoln Memorial, so I'm excited. Yeah. Better one than Yeah. No, no, you got better when you met me a minute. You said you done trusting, but you did it. Move low key, but I really know you with it. Why you not shalom when you really got them digits? I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. Look. You get so good at being modest, girl, be honest You said you done trusting these niggas, made yourself a promise I hate to make you take it back I have been getting paid for rap, ain't talking about the drums When I tell you I can make it clap Had to make you wait for that You intrigued with conversation You be moving dolo, I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration I can gas you up, but I don't think you need the validation Still you looking good, natural, without no operation We just got to the African American Museum they said that this is emotional, but I'm really excited to be here. I'm super like bloated and I still have a headache from last night, but yeah, I'm excited. So y'all, this whole experience was so emotional. So they start you at the bottom and it pretty much takes you through, you know, the Atlantic state slave trade all the way through like getting a black president. So just having all of that information at once in a timeline is just super emotional. It was a beautiful museum. It just paid beautiful homage to everything that black people have been through in America. They had this rail car, like the actual rail car um, that was used in those days with white only section, colored only section, and that was super emotional. At the end, it just focused on all of the success that we've had and where we are now, and that's when I started crying. When I saw Barack Obama as president, after going through that, it was crazy. They did have a cafe at the bottom, so I sat down, I ate, I enjoyed myself, and the food was really, really good too, so. This was a really great experience. This was one of the top things that I wanted to make sure I got done while I was in DC. And I'm so happy that I carved out the time to make sure that it happened. It was definitely a memorable experience. Say hi to Janae, y'all. Hey, babes. We're we are, so good. It looks Thank so good. you, girl. My shit is crusty. It's not this crusty. is like two weeks old. Well, I have to ask you because I haven't figured out what products to use to make sure my hair looks silky. Yeah. Okay, oh, girl, the house is gorgeous. Welcome to my Baby, home. it's gorgeous. Oh, Yay, I'm so happy to be here. Did you have fun last night? I was harassed yesterday. They was outside. I know, I know. Did you? I did, I, I did a little mingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, y'all. I did a little mingling. 
Girl. Oh, so and then he found out it was my birthday. He was cool, older guy. He was, he was, he was cool. But he didn't, you know, he ain't try to like sit with me and stuff. He just sent it over. Yeah. And then as I was sitting there throughout the night, at least five or six different men tried to come and sit next to me in my table, just trying to holler. One guy, he was walking me through, but he had to deal with men literally grabbing me as we were walking. <laughs> it was great. I had a great time. It's, it's been a little shocking. Yeah. It's, it, it's even different than Atlanta. Oh, absolutely. Like, I'm gonna have to come here more often it's, because I'm you. it's giving. Popping bottles. Woo! <laughs> I do this that first, first, then I hover the orange juice around it. Child, or you just wanna the sip spirit it. of The spirit of a mimosa. Let me not play with you. The spirit of a mimosa, period. You're hilarious. I've seen people, they'll take it and they'll just do I like know. this. They'll be like, mimosa. I'm like, I actually need my vitamins. I'll take some. You can pour it. Okay, <laughs> okay that's good. A little splash. Hey, y'all. Um, so, it's later on in the night. I am getting ready to go out, but I'm super happy because today feels better. And we're going out tonight. So, very excited. This outfit was not the plan, but... I just felt like the last night out for my birthday, we gotta do it up. So yeah, we're doing with the red dress that we took pictures in in the last vlog. Sorry y'all, I'm chewing gum. But I think it looks really sexy. Oh, it's giving. <laughs> and then I did um, these earrings with it. These are from H&M, my little cuff from H&M. Yeah girl, these are the vibes. Again, we're not gonna be taking the camera. Ciao. I was already a walking target yesterday. This camera would make it way worse. So we're just gonna vlog on the phone. I'm gonna take my light and yeah, girl. I feel so sexy and cute in this. One time for the back of the dress, for the body, yaddy, yaddy. You know what I'm saying? This dress is so hard to get into though. It's from a brand called Pop Populish, Populish or Populish, and they sell clothes with built-in shapewear so i am sn snatched up okay we snatched i'm trying to suck in even a little more so we really uh, really be snatched i'm about to call my uber and uh, the reservations at nine we're gonna go see what the vibes are there if the vibes aren't vibing there we're gonna go somewhere else i might ask around some of the guys i was talking to last night i might ask them like what's going on tonight so yeah girl i'm excited and I'm excited that my friend can come. Y'all know, I ain't got no problem being by myself. But the fact that she's free to go, we outside. She she already said she's going to be my wing woman tonight. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do it. Let's take this show on the Same road. Ish, different day. I'll be bored out my mind. Hometown of my place. But while I'm in my prime, gotta go get away. Hop a train, cop a flight. And ride tonight. I got. Sunday 
we're about to check out of the hotel. I did have another outfit on just a second ago, but as soon as I turned off my camera, I changed my mind. So I bought this dress. This is too bright in here, hold up. So I bought this dress at Aritzia when I went shopping on Friday, and I felt like this was a cute little brunch Sunday fun day type of dress. The other one I felt like was doing way too much. I just felt a little stuffy, and I felt like I was gonna be hot in that blazer, so. We changed. But I had brunch plans and then there's a day party later on today, but I don't know if I wanna do that. I feel like I've been out a lot <laughs> since I've been here um, and haven't really had the chill vibes at all. So I don't really know what's happening right now, but I'm gonna get out the hotel. I'm gonna go downstairs and sit in the lobby and maybe even go to the restaurant and eat something because we're a little tapped out. And then we'll figure out what today is going to look like. I do need to make a thumbnail though so I can post today's video. Yeah, let's figure it out. All right, y'all, so we just Ubered to the wharf. It's like a little outdoor area where they're shopping and everything like that. We have reservations at a place called La Vie over here. I'm literally an hour early, but I'm just gonna see if they let me in and then we'll play it by ear. I just got done posting my video um, as well. So yeah, let's go. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. That's good. Are you here for brunch? I am. It's just me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a solo trip for my birthday. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, loves. We are back home. <laughs> it is Monday morning and I'm exhausted, child. Just woke up and I am sitting outside of Amira's father's house waiting for her and Dior to come to the car. So, I probably look real crusty and dusty, babe. I think, oh yes, it's giving dust. It's giving dusty. It's fine though. Um, I had a great birthday. <laughs> I had an amazing birthday. I had so much fun, y'all. Y'all, I learned a lot about men this weekend. Because, baby, I have to tell you, I don't know if I got time to tell y'all right now, but yesterday at the, at the place 12 Stories, there was this guy that I met when I first got there, right? Him and another guy. We started chatting it up, and uh, they ended up being from St. Louis. Crazy very crazy connection chatting up hanging out with them they let me sit in their section i think y'all saw that so we was just chilling hanging out whatever but one of the guys uh it was a lighter skinned guy and a darker skinned guy the dark skin the darker skinned guy was trying to talk to me right and y'all the conversation was cool right the conversation was was fine because it was very obvious that he was he was feeling on me like he seemed like a friend vibe for me but what i'm realizing is a lot of men if you give them any attention they think oh this this door is open you know what i'm saying you could just be being nice you can barely look in that their direction you know what i'm saying like and they feel like that's a go so I guess because I was sitting there talking to him, he thought that maybe I was interested like that as well. And I'm letting the conversation flow because it was cool, right? It wasn't no big deal. He started bringing up sexual stuff. And that right there was a red flag for me just because I'm celibate and I brought that up. So he didn't completely agree with that. So I'm like, okay, well, this ain't gonna work. And then after that, religion came up and i asked him did he believe that jesus was the son of god and he said yeah i struggle with that you know i go back and forth so i said oh well it was nice to meet you i'm gonna go i grabbed my drink and i walked away period like that's where i am y'all because here's the thing first of all i walked away i ended up um 
media subscriber trying to hide. So I'm here behind this this wall. And I, and she was like, oh my God, Maya. I was like, hey girl. And she was like, you okay? I was like, I'm trying to hide from this man. And as I was saying that, he walked up on me and was like, can I, can I talk to you for a second? I said, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> I said, no, I'm good. I'm good. But he was so persistent. And he tried to tell me, he was like, I just, you know, that hurt my feelings a little bit because I felt like we was having a really, really great conversation and we were vibing and everything. And then I say one thing, I'm trying to be vulnerable. I'm trying to, you know, that's something you should be able to do with your woman is be vulnerable and you just get up and leave. And he's trying to convince me that I should have stayed to hear his side and try to understand where he's coming from versus getting up. I let him know multiple times. I said, listen, there will be the right person for you. There will be a woman who is okay with the fact that you go back and forth with whether or not Jesus is the son of God. I'm not that woman. I said, look, I don't judge people. I understand that you can have confusion on the journey. I understand all of that. But for me and my house and the man that runs my household and the head of my marriage, ain't gonna have no problems with that. <laughs> Period. Like, that's a no. And then also there were other things leading up to that as well. Y'all, this man tried to talk my ear off the entire time I was there. I was telling my subscriber that, that I had walked up on, um, after I finally got him to move away, I was just like, girl, standing on business is tough because especially when men cannot take rejection, men don't want to get the woman who is in alignment with them. They want who they want and they want to convince you to be cool with what they're offering and they won't take no for an answer. I just think that's horrible. I told him that he was not respecting my boundaries. You are trying to convince me and out of what I believe you are invalidating you know, my reality and my reasoning. Like, sir, I, I said, let me tell you something. There are big deal breaker things. Yes, there's certain things. It's not because he was like, nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect. No, they're not. But there are certain things, values wise, you know, foundational wise, that you need to be in alignment with. Sorry, I'm not about to just consider any and everything because you don't want your feelings hurt or I'm not being considerate. Oh, I wanna be with a woman that's considerate. Be with a woman that's considerate. But also, I think he was trying to also kind of say like, well, if I can't be vulnerable with you. And I said, okay, I get that. Of course you want to be vulnerable with whoever you end up with, which like, we not together, I'm not your woman, but. <laughs> Of course you want to be vulnerable with the person that you're with, but if I'm talking to you and our first conversation, when I first meet you, I don't have to have no consideration for you right now. I don't have to let you be vulnerable on things that I'm standing strong on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're having some issues and you want to be vulnerable with me, we're in a relationship, you know, I'll hear your side, I'll hear how you're feeling, cool. But I'm not giving you that treatment when I first meet you. You tell me that you're confused on whether Jesus is the son of God based on, you know, whatever. You want me to be considerate of that and let you be vulnerable and say, oh, well, at least he's vulnerable. Boy, bye. Okay, <laughs> please get out of my face. Now, there was another thing I wanted to tell you about him too. Oh yeah, he kept trying to, y'all. That's another reason why I walked away. The man was married. <laughs> He, this man was married. I told him that I had been divorced for a year and he was like, okay, since you're being open and honest with me, I'll be open and honest with you. I'm actually going through that right now. I said, oh, so you're still married? He said, yeah, but she don't want to sign the papers and she don't want to leave because I'm such a good guy and stuff. And then he kept telling me, kept saying, you know, I'm just real genuine. I'm just real authentic. You know what I'm saying? I'm just real. I'm just real, real, real. He was like, I know I'm not like most dudes and all these things. Babes, when you have to say that, you're probably not that. Like, if you got to try to convince me of how authentic and real you are, you probably not that real. Men will tell on themselves, okay? I said, look, if I did start talking to you, hypothetically, I told him I wouldn't go on no dates. I wouldn't talk to you at all until your divorce was final. I don't do separated. I don't do none of that. No, you still on, you still on the covenant, baby. That ain't, it's gonna be no for me. That's just me and how I move. And so once I told him that, he was like, 
See, that's what makes you want to not tell people stuff. I was like, I would have found out eventually. He said, no, I would have done a real good job of hiding it. Sir, you're telling on yourself. You, every few minutes, you say how authentic and real you are. And you're not like other men. But you literally just told me that that's, that's probably something you would do is hold out information because it doesn't get the result that you want. And now I feel deceived. As I told him, I was like, okay, so later on, if that came up, he was like, you wouldn't find out. You wouldn't find out. And I thought about this morning and I was like, I would because you can't get married without knowing the date of your previous divorce. Because my ex-husband needed the date from his previous divorce. So <laughs> I would have found out. And then now I feel betrayed and we probably not going to get married. I didn't tell him that reasoning because I just thought about that this morning. But it was crazy. Oh my God, look at Dior. <gasps> There's everybody. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hello, Dior. <laughs> Hi, guys. So much stuff. What's up, baby? Hello. Okay, Dior. Okay, wait a minute. Hi, baby. Hi. I missed you. So it is a little bit later on, y'all. Just checking on my hair. I tied it down so it can do what I wanted to do. We're about to do a quick face because it is, I'm not even gonna say my last birthday celebration because more than likely that's not true. Um, because I still have not celebrated my birthday with a lot of my friends here. So I'm about to use the same makeup that we used um, in DC because we're about to leave in like 30 minutes, but I can do a full face in 20. <laughs> We're gonna have some other birthday celebrations, I'm sure of it. However, we are going out with my baby girl tonight. We're gonna go to dinner in the city. She really, really loves going to the city. So that's what we are about to do. I don't know if I wanna do back and top or I might just stick with Danessa tonight. I think I'm just gonna do Danessa. I don't feel like dealing with a, um, with a liquid foundation, so. We are about to go to Prime on Peachtree. It is a black owned restaurant in Midtown. I got on TikTok, which is my favorite search engine right now to find like places to go and things like that. So I found that on TikTok. I have heard of it before, but you know, sometimes you just need reminders of things. You need somebody to tell you <laughs> without having to think about it, you know? And I do have like a guide, you know, a guide for new restaurants and stuff on my maps on my phone, but I didn't have that one on there. So, but I wanted to finish giving you guys a recap of the trip. Earlier, I was gonna do that, but then Amira and Dior came to the car. So I wanted to finish telling you guys. And I kind of got stuck on that one situation with that guy yesterday because he was just draining my energy. So I had to remove myself. Sorry, you're doing the most. But y'all, yeah, this is only the second time that I have traveled alone. I took a solo trip to New York City last year. And this year we did DC. Earlier this year, I had been planning and booking already an out of the country solo trip, but I ended up canceling it for certain reasons. But now it's seeming like it's a yearly thing. I would love to travel and do one solo trip a year. So this year obviously was DC and next year I am going to pull the trigger on an international solo trip. I absolutely love traveling alone. It is unmatched. I was talking to Janae about this when I was at her house that when you're traveling alone, it feels so good not to have to compromise on what you want to do, not to have to consult with anyone else or deal with other attitudes as far as what's on the agenda. If you want to spend a day rotting in bed, there's no one like, oh girl, we on vacation, we outside, we can rot at home. Like you can literally just do whatever it is that you want to do. And that's what I love about solo trips, especially in the season of my life where I have been prioritizing myself and getting out of the habit of putting others opinions and stuff above my own that means so much to me like so much to me to be able to travel by myself and to make my own decisions and it helped me too to learn myself as well y'all 
because I mean, I've said this before. It's like, what would I do in a city by myself without anybody else? You know, no one else's opinion and input. What would I do? Saturday when I went to the museum and I was just walking and you know, I went to Lincoln Memorial, y'all. I just felt so happy. I've always wanted to go to Lincoln Memorial, always. And it just felt good to just do whatever I wanted to do and just bask in that. The happiness I had on Saturday was crazy. I always wanted to go to Lincoln Memorial, but I was really excited also to be in DC because I'm a huge Scandal fan. Just seeing all the spots they used to film at and things like that was really cool for me too. So yeah, it was just very personally satisfying. And I want more of that. I want more of that. And I'm really proud of myself too because I had decided that this was gonna be a solo trip, but one of my friends were saying that the, she wanted to go. And though it's not like a personal thing, and that's one thing, like when you're starting to stand on business and do stuff for yourself, we got to get out of the habit of feeling like, oh, well, you know, it's not personal. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I mean, hopefully people will understand that. I still feel the need to disclaim a little bit. It wasn't hurt her feelings at all. I love my friend. But when she said something, I felt proud of myself because old me would have been like, oh, yeah, well, you can come. You know, you want to come. You're available to come. Come on. But I decided I want to go by myself. So. I realized what my natural response was going to be and I stopped it. I said, you know what? I actually want to go by myself and old me would have had an issue doing that. And then I would have told her she can come. And then while she was there, I probably would have been annoyed, not at her personally, but at the fact that, you know, this is something I wanted to do alone. So many times we think about how what's best for us is going to affect others, you know? And then we make a decision based on that versus based on what's best for us. And this can go for so many things, whether you want to invite somebody somewhere or you want to invite certain people and not other people. You know, it's like, oh, but I don't want their feelings to be hurt. Oh, I don't want them to think I think this about them or that about them. Well, that was way too much powder, but okay. I know how to press it in, I know how to press it in. This is how I wanted it to look, but this is just, it looks bakey, you know? I was gonna press it and I'm gonna spray it with some Fix Plus here in a second to really like get that powdery look away from it. But yeah, girl, I say all that to say, I had a great time. It was amazing and a wonderful way to start this 35th year. Technically it's my 36th year, but you know what I mean. It was a great way to start this upcoming year because I believe that this year is gonna be so different than my other years prior or any other year in my 30s because I'm already starting off in a progressed type of way you know I'm gonna have to tie my hair back down y'all because I am starting to sweat I can always have it tied down too on the way there so so girl if you want to do something alone <laughs> think long and hard about your reasoning behind that and why it's so important to stand on that over pleasing somebody else okay because it's just so important i know i preach this all the time i'm not gonna get too deep into it but it's just the era that i'm in which i feel like we should always be in that era there's a lot of people who think that this kind of era is selfish and that's what's wrong with us all that's what's wrong with us because it's like all of this attention on you know yourself and putting yourself first and all of this god created us to have community and to care about each other and not just be so focused on ourselves first of all that's true god did create us to have community that's not a lie but who's going to care for you if you don't care for yourself you know who's going to put you first if you don't put yourself first yes there'll be people in life who do do that but it's so important for us to do that for ourselves and just because community is important doesn't mean that we always have to put said community over what we need because we matter as well. Anyway, child, it's getting real deep in here. <laughs> that was not the point. I just wanted to let y'all know how good I was feeling and how excited I was to have gone on my solo trip for my birthday. I feel like it really set the mood for the rest of the year. So I am going to finish off this face. Actually, I guess I'll just keep y'all on because it's not much else left to do. I already know what I'm wearing. I was going to keep the blush kind of light, but I guess I will go over it with the, um, oh no, I'm going to go over it with the Fenty blush lighter. Get a little highlight vibe going on at the top of the cheeks. This looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to tie my hair down on the way there because I can already feel 
me sweating. I don't think I did my relaxer really good. Um, I should have waited until the hair was super short, but my thing is I needed it to lay to understand what to cut. So I posted the video yesterday and you guys love the cut and I'm so happy. I'm so happy everybody loves the cut, child. This is my look, okay? This is my look, no? Yes, and it's getting 90s fine and so many people are saying that and I'm really happy because that was my goal. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just feel like the 90s, even though y'all know I've had my hair like this before, so this is something that I've been wanting to do. But, but yeah, I think that the 90s was just such a time to be alive, you know? It was such a timeless, I think, time for like beauty. But yeah, every time I see a woman from the 90s or like the old actresses from the 90s, not old, but you know what I mean, from the 90s, it's just like, it's a classic look it's a classic beauty and I love this for me I've been struggling a little bit with having my sideburns but I don't know I'm also about to find a good like alternative because I don't want to keep putting so much heat on my hair y'all because I don't want it to break off I actually want the front to grow in a little bit so the last thing I want to do is start losing hair yeah girl this is the look this is the vibe she's cute she's cute Oh, mascara. I know mascara. I think I'm going to skip the like liner on my eyes today. And yeah, we're going to go with this. Let's go ahead and get your rest. I already know what I'm wearing. So yeah, girl. Let's do it. Fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning. You got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight. You in love with being modest. You a mood, body giving sin views. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to hard. Number one fan, your side up, Lord. Got me think about inside them walls. Words cut deep, it's like a swat. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to go. Show y'all the full vibes for dinner tonight. I was gonna do the purse I showed y'all, but I decided I'm gonna do my YSL Waldron chain. Let me grab it. Yeah, I'm gonna do my YSL Waldron chain. It matches the black in the shoes, but then also I don't feel like carrying that bag. Um, it does have a chain, but I lost it. I don't know where it is right now. And I'm gonna have my camera and stuff, so I just didn't wanna carry too many things. So this is the vibe. This dress is from Fashion Nova. Oh, I've been in love with this dress ever since me and Katan went to brunch earlier this year and she had this on. I was like, hey, where is it from? And it finally got back in stock. So, love this. I did show you guys this in a haul, that, a dress haul that I showed y'all a few weeks ago. But, yeah girl, this is the vibe. I think this looks amazing with the short hair. <laughs> It's giving. I'm about to go and celebrate my birthday with my baby girl. She's excited. I'm excited. I heard the food here is really good. So feeling cute, feeling amazing. I feel like this is a new era, baby. A brand new era. I don't know what it is, but the hair has literally shipped us, flown us, delivered us to a new era. And I'm here for it. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. And let's go eat. Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure me? Of my own pain 